At the post-Hungarian Grand Prix test, we got our first look at Formula 1's new 2019 front wing designs in action on track, as some teams used the rare testing opportunity to give their early concepts a try in the real world. The new design, which was pushed through earlier this year following research carried out by the teams and Ross Braun's technical chiefs who now work for Formula 1, is 20cm wider, 2.5cm deeper, with less complicated end plates and restrictions on how many elements can be used. The complicated turning vanes on top of the wings are also banned. The test gave the teams that ran a 2019 design, Williams, Force India and Red Bull, a chance to gather data that they could compare to the simulations their design teams are carrying out back at the factory, so Aero Rakes and Flowviz Paint were out in force to log as much data in the real world as possible. The idea behind the new rules is to stop teams designing wings that push a lot of the air around the outside of the front tyres, which is one of the key factors that makes it difficult for cars to follow each other closely on track at the moment. It's not purely about reducing downforce generated by the front wing itself, as a large part of the job of the wing is to set up the airflow ahead of it reaching other key downforce producing parts of the car, such as the barge boards, side pods, diffuser and of course the rear wing. It could be argued that the 2019 designs still aren't what most people would call simple, but this is a first step towards a much bigger overhaul of F1 Aero that is planned for the 2021 season. Will these new wings make any difference to the racing next year? Let us know your thoughts.